welcome to you in my youtube channel interview panel so thank you for joining interview panel so this is tk welcome and in this video i am going to talk about how to create database backup in c sharp application so if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel here you will get all the latest interview questions and also uh, uh, .net, uh, all the dot net related interview questions also okay so first of all create database backup windows application okay so i am going to create database here i am going to use windows application so i am going to check this database is not available so we need to create this database now my database is created successfully now i will click the query and you can see this database is now available here okay in the list you can see so now first of all we need to create the table so i am going to use this table and I will check the data is available here or not. Okay, so right now there is no data in this table, so they are not available. Okay, so data is not available. So now this Windows application I am going to use. So first of all, I am going to check this. So data is so now data is inserted successfully. Okay, so now you can check successfully. Now I am going to check the data. Then data is available. Oh. So now check again. Now I am going. To, so I need to create the backup file here. So I am going to run the logic here. Okay. So there is no code available here. So I need to write code here. Okay. So first of all, we need to create some variable and we need to create this class constructor so my class name is form1 so i am going to create the constructor of this form1 okay so uh, first of all we need to create uh, some two variables so i am going to create these two variables connection instance and one more variable is for need to create so the second one is that folder Okay, so we need to create backup folder first. And now I am going to create the constructor from this class. The class name is form1. Okay, now you can check public parcel class form1. So this is my class. So I am going to use the constructor with two parameters. Okay, so string common str and string backup path. Okay. So here is the connection string on it and backup folder path. So I backup path. So I am going to assign this to parameter here. Okay, so first on the next step create method or function that we need to use. So I am going to create the logic here. So for creating the database backup file, we need to write some logic here. The logic is so check create folder in the uh, my C drive. Okay, so actually I don't have any uh, backup folder, so I'm going to create in C drive. So I will use this folder to store my database backup. Okay, so I will need to check this folder is available or not. So for that purpose, I am going to check if system.io.dictionary.exist exist or not. If not exist, then I need to create this directory. Okay, so I need to create. I am going to pass as a string. See, my folder name will be test backup data. Okay. So, in this, if this is not exist, then we need to create. Okay. And the runtime. So create directory. This is my a folder name so i am going to create this folder if not exist 
adjust frame by turn on the dot adjust frame it will create okay, so from one so I am using here the from one object I need to create object of from one so here from one is nothing but our class okay so don't to confuse around that. So this is my database access logic here and I have written this database access logic here a three tier architecture okay so I will take connection history from here I think this uh, method is not available with me, so I will create this method. Setup DB. Number parameter database name. So database name I will give here hard coder so don't worry you can give any name so I am going to uh, make my file name with the database name that's why I am going to give you hard coder so don't worry so I need to create this uh, method also file path name will also need one parameter and if you have any doubt you can ask for a comment don't worry I will help you and I will check your comment I am I am going to make my database backup file name here. So first database name and second I will use date and time. Okay. So it will always unique. Um DD and then by 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 and uh as and connect. Okay. So um, this will create a database backup file name. So I'm going to return. Guys, if you have any problem to create this database backup, please ask. Okay, I will help you. And you can create this database backup in any application like ASP.NET web application or ASP.NET MV, MVC application. So the man, method will be same. Okay. And it is very easy. So I am going to write here the database backup query. So this is the query to create the database backup. It will hear the path name, file path name, okay. Path name is nothing but folder name in the C drive. So 
Now this query I need to execute to create my database by profile. So for that I have to create some lines of code here also. Command dot execute non query. If you don't know the execute non query, and please watch my previous videos, and you can watch the three tier structure. So already I made that video, so you will get the full confidence, and uh, you will have to knowledge. You will get knowledge to create uh, how to create web application. So after creating this uh, backup file, I have to, I need to give a uh, uh, message so that we can understand the database is created. Okay. So this how folder path is not available actually the me. So you can see here there is no folder this test pack. Okay. I am going to run this application. So you can check the time here. Now run this application. Some red font is available here, so you can check. On the step is going correct. So now success has we got. We can see here hello. Okay, so this is created. Now the database is created successfully. Now you can check. So this is the folder, and in, inside this you can check the backup file here. Okay, so this is how you can easily create the database backup and very uh, simple logic here. Okay, so this is the date and time I have, I have created here. You can see test to backup DB. 15, 7, 2, 9, 18. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel interview back. You will you can get in touch with Facebook and I hope you will enjoy this video. I would like to have feedback from you. Thank you guys.